All right, we're going to very quickly look over how to produce a uh, mass quantification of data you've already taken. Now, one thing we often tell you is that when you have your spectrum, which when you have your spectrum, that you can very easily uh, uh, quantify it if you gather new reference spectrum, and that nothing will ever change about that spectrum. You can always add new quantifications. We're going to show you just what that means. So in this case, my first step is going to be to insert calibrate or, or spectra that I want to quantify. So here in PDZ files, it's this tab in the spreadsheet, I have multiple PDZ files here. These are of my reference spectra. I can see the duration, Compton window, number of photons beneath each peak, and if I come way over here, I can get information about how the data was collected. Uh, the valid count rate, raw count rate, uh, energy, current, etc. In this case, I want to add spectrum that I want to quantify. So I come over here, I go to S1 Cal process, and I select insert PDZ. Once I've got insert PDZ, I'm going to navigate to the folder that I want to quantify, in this case from an archaeological site. I'm going to select spectrum taken with helium conditions, and I'm going to add them. So I click shift. This way I can add all of them at once, and then I click OK. And now you can see the spectrum come in to be imported. These are the names, and then it's going to take a minute and then process the other information about these spectrum. The next step is I'm going to copy the names of these spectra that I've just added to the spreadsheet. And control C to copy. I can also right click and select copy. Now I'm going to come over to the chem test file. In the chem test file, I add those spectra here by right clicking and selecting paste. So here the names are pasted for those spectrum. Next, I'm going to select GL Three, which is the calibration file. Uh, your calibration file name refers to a specific set of accumulation conditions. In this case, GL3 stands for General Linear Chemistry 3, and this is the calibration file I created for helium data. I am going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it. Here, so that way each file each spectra has a calibration file associated with it. Next, I come to S1 Cal Process and Chem Test. I select Chem Test, and it's going to ask me to navigate to the folders that contain the spectra I want to quantify. So I go back to Desktop, I select that archaeological site, and I point to the Helium folder for that site, and then I click OK. And once I've done that, it's going to perform a mass quantification of all that data. Here you see each file name, calibration file used, uh, the time it was taken for, each element, and then over here I've got my quantification numbers. Now you notice it doesn't make much sense right now, but that's because there's some cleaning up that needs to be done. So here, I'm going to clear those contents. Next, I come over here, and I select my file names, and I copy them. I come over here, and I paste. There's all my file names. You can see it a little more clearly there. Then I take the element headers here, from sodium, to zinc. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste here. So now you can see sample 1305 has 0.34 weight percent sodium, 0.92 weight percent magnesium, 6.6% .6 aluminum, etc. If I want to, I can come over here. I can select these copy them, create a new spreadsheet,
and paste that data here. So now I've got a nice table with all my samples and all my spectra quantified. This can be done for any element range and any calibration. The sky is the limit. And you can quantify a lot of data. In this case, I've only quantified 85 data points. But you can calculate thousands to tens of thousands of data points all at once using this method with S1Cal process.